So I constantly remind them that when I was a child, I didn't have this, and when I, you know, so. Do you worry because you know they, they have a lot of you know PSHE at school now, and they they they're much more open about the things they talk about with children, and stranger danger, and you know people yeah. touching you and that kind of thing. If that comes up for them at school. Or do you think you will share with them or are you worried when that comes up? Like, what am I going to tell them? Yeah. Because you I want think... to protect them as well. Oh, definitely. And I'm probably too over the top with protection for them. So when you talk oh. about stranger danger, I am just horrific with the boys. You know, even when they go away with, with a dad or something, we have the conversation like, right, mummy, I'll be safe. I'll hold hands. I won't do this. I won't do that. Because mm -hmm. I'm always drilling it in the head. If someone does this, then make sure you do that. And, and does I'm... Simon know? Oh. He knows you're anxious. Just yeah. Keep in touch. And he, and... Yeah, he's got to because I would just go crazy at home if he didn't constantly tell me it was okay. How's the counselling helping? I mean, is, is it helping you? Yeah, it helped before. So I did it um, some years ago and then it really helped because then the nightmares have stopped and my anxiety calmed down. But since the court case, it's like my anxiety is as crazy as it's ever. It's reliving it, isn't it? Yeah, and it's just like, even, it's really silly things. Like when I come down to London today, I think in my head, this could be the last time I see my boys. I might die while I'm in London. Mm -hmm. It's really mm -hmm. crazy stuff that goes on with anxiety in my head. Every day when I kiss my boys goodbye at school, I always think something might happen. Mm. This mm. might be the last kiss mm. I have. We're having a, an embrace in the schoolyard and the teachers think I'm crazy <laughs> because I'm like, come here, boys, <laughs> come on, come yeah. on. But, you know, I like it. I like showing over-the-top love with them because I never had that and I want them to know that they can talk to me about anything and but in terms no of counselling, like Sarah was saying, is that something you want to I'm going to have to revisit, Because obviously yeah. that anxiety, yeah. we all understand it when you tell us, but you obviously don't want to have that forever. No, no, because in some ways it's ruining the boys' lives because small things like if I take the boys to the park, I've got to climb up the climbing frame with them. I'm petrified they're going to fall off. And, you know, mm. you can have a little giggle, but I'm like... 33 year old trying to climb this thing and I'm scared of heights and I just think I want them just to be free and I want them to go on the bikes I won't even let them ride a bike it's it's really and it it's, it's all areas of your life doesn't it, it really does and this is so me coming out talking about because there will be women and men out there who suffer the same as what I do anxiety wise and not realize it's as a result of what happened when they was younger I, it took me a long time to realize yeah. that and then my therapist broke all of this down and he's told me that I actually, what I'm trying to do is protect my boys that much from harm, I've took it to an absolute extreme. Well, then you're going to harm yourself. Exactly. Yeah. And I'll harm yeah. them because they'll be petrified. Yeah. helping them.